Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. So our this video, which is lecture number 26, is linked with lecture number 25. So I would suggest you to please watch lecture number 25 before starting this tutorial. As a recap, I will tell you what we have done in lecture number 25 that we have been given a sore water which was produced from a crude distillation tower. We had firstly heated it using a heater to a temperature of 100 degrees centigrade and then we had separated the water from off gases in this distillation column. Now at the end of the last video I had told you that we will replace this heater with a heat exchanger. If I go to Q heat and obviously this is the heat required to heat water from 37.78 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade. So if I select the utility type obviously I will have to either select the steam or hot oil. If I select HP steam then you can see that approximately 158.6 kg per hour steam is required to heat sour water from 37.8 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade. If you look at the distillation column it has two outlets and off gas obviously it's at a temperature of 102.4 and obviously it contains ammonia and H2S. But if you look at this stream which is the water stream then it is at a temperature of 124 degree centigrade 2.255 bar and it's approximately 99.999% pure water. So it means that instead of using steam for this process we can use this water to heat sour water from 37.78 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade. So what I will do, I will simply delete this block and Q heat from here and I will select heat exchanger over here. Now I will replace its icon and choose a much better icon over here. If you see this sour water contains H2S and ammonia, so we will place this sour water in the tube side and we cannot place it at the shell side and obviously its outlet will be the heated sour water which is entering the stripper. Now this water will enter the shell side and will leave from the shell side. So this water is entering the shell side and the outlet we can say it as cooled water. Instead of using steam we can use it to save our energy and this is known as the process to process heat recovery that we have recovered the heat of water which could have been wasted if not utilized and we have used this heat to heat up the sour water which is entering the stripper. Now we have to define the pressure drops obviously we know these conditions we have to just enter the condition over here which is the pressure drop the same as that of the water entering the heat exchanger. As you see this heat exchanger block has converged but it is giving a warning that FT correction factor is low. In that case, I would suggest to go to rating tab and in two passes per shell make it as so this has converged successfully. So there are some FT correction factor values which we will discuss later that how to deal with this problem. But one way of dealing it that to reduce two pass per shell to one. So this has converged successfully and if you look at the compositions again the composition will be the same. So that's how you can recover the heat without using any external utility and you can save the cost of the process as well. So that's all from my side for today's simulation. Please do watch the video, like the video, share with others and subscribe to the channel Aspen Tech. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned.